Welcome back to Genuine Core guys. This is the fourth video in the Android development tutorial series and so far we have developed the adapter and the layout for displaying our quote. Now I am going back to the main activity. Now we have the view pager here and this array list list variable contains the whole list of quotes. Now what I am going to do is I am going to create an instance of the pager adapter. So that will be code page adapter then I am going to give the name adapter equals new code page adapter and it takes two variables first one is a list which is definitely the list and the context is nothing but a class that extends the activity so I am going to give the this pointer here so there is no error so we have set the adapter now what we have to do is we have to associate this view pager with the adapter and we have to tell the view pager that this is from where you are getting the data so that can be done by using view pager dot set adapter and we are going to give the adapter so that's the end of it we have created a view pager we have created an adapter and associated it now let us run the program so just a moment and you can see we are getting nothing so there is an error. The reason that we are in getting the actual uh, code in our window is, is this because in the code page router we made a mistake. We have in added the created layout into a collection. I mean that's why we have a container here. So what I have to do is I am going to add the container dot add view then I'm going to add the layout so in the view pager is uh, the view group is accessible in the container and the inflated view the new slide that we have created is added into the container now so that's hope you got it and I'm coming back to here then let us run the program again so as you can see we got our inspiring quotes application I mean we got our inspiring quote here now you can just drag and drop it less like this and this is not there is an error so let us come back to the Android monitor section and see what might have caused the error so if you look into the stack trace destroy item was not overwritten so that is another problem so it is happening because when we move from one slide to another slide in order to save some memory the Android will destroy the uh, previous item so we have not overrated that so I'm going to override on destroy destroy item and here we have to go for removing the item so container dot remove view then we are going to remove the current object from there so that's fine we will have to cast the parameter so view object now let us run the program again before that I am going to okay that's fine then let us run it now let us swipe here once more once more and there is no error so that's it guys that's how you use the view pager for implementing this kind of user interface and in order to give a card look and feel let us see how to do that so uh, for that I am going to the slide layout and here we have a linear layout here in order to get the card look and feel Android uh, SDK provides a card view so let us make a quick search on the card view so I'm going to the search on card view and you can see there is a create a list and cards Android page and here it says things like this and the thing that we want is uh, we have to give it at a dependency so also this is the first thing that we have to do first we have to add this dependency in our project so let's see how we can do that so I'm coming back to the project and here in the build.gradle there is a set of dependencies that this application is using so here I'm going to just copy and paste uh, just paste it and here there is one more error that is because currently I am compiling for the latest version Android 7.1 and this is 21 point something so uh, when I click and alt plus enter it is asking no so I am going to set this to 25.0 Point zero. So there is no other error I think. Now I am going to press on the sync now button in order to make the changes. 
so it is still building so that's fine so now we are ready to use card view in our application so coming back to the slide layout section you can see that this is our layout in order to give a card look and feel first we have to give a padding here so I'm going to give a padding here and I'm going to padding like 20 20 SP so now the text view and this text view is somewhere here and now I am going to use a card view so there is android.support.version7 widget card view and I am going to use the match pattern match pattern option so now we are in order to put this thing into the card view we have to move this to right here so now these two components are inside the card view so the problem is the card view is not like linear layout you can't use the uh, weight sum and uh, layout weight things like that so the next thing that you want to do is you have to create one more linear layout here and I am going to set it to match parent and here I am going to cut it and paste this right here in order to make this components inside the linear layout also now we don't want this weight sum here because this does not have direct effect on this text view and this text view so we have to paste it right here so now we go to here I'm going to press on this clear cache shape and one more thing that we have to set is we have to define the orientation we, there is horizontal orientation and vertical orientation now the components I mean these two text views are vertically aligned inside the card view now we can the, the card view has some interesting options I mean if you uh, type card then we can apply corner radius for our card I'm going to give something like 5 dp for our card so there will be a corner radius then here again there is a card elevation then card background color etc in order to give a 3d material design look I'm going to give card elevation to something like 2 dp so it will be in the set axis it will be above 2 dp from the base I mean from the linear layout now I think we have the material design card look let's just, just wait for a moment and here we go as you can see we got the card view one more problem is the background color is similar to is equivalent to the card view color which is white so we will have to give a less white color for the linear layout and that can be done using the background and I'm going to give a color like E7, E7, E7. It's a grayish color, so it will make it easier to see the card. So as you can see, we got our this uh, corner radius, and we got our card view. So that's it, guys. That's the base of our genuine inspiration court application. So I think this is the end of this video. And as always, thank you for watching this video and subscribe for more cool videos.